know the money is coming to go. So what? Uh, What's going on with you and Orlando Brown? Orlando Brown, yo, we are on good terms, man. Uh, that boy Orlando Brown. But, um, but at one time now, he it's on the internet for everyone to see. Mm -hmm. I sent some niggas over there to kidnap him, and he and he was gone. And that's not how it went. I'm gonna tell you that boy was off the off, off that stuff, and that's not how it went. I'm gonna tell you right now. So this is what happened with Orlando. Let's get into it. Orlando Brown, my good friend, man. Uh, start getting a little turned up. And to make it clear to everyone who's watching right now, you and him are now great friends. We've always been great friends. Now, me and Orlando came up in this game together. Uh, as you see, you know, like, or anybody knows, like, we both do music. We came up together. That's why we, we are very talented young guys, you know. And that was my boy. That was one of my road dogs back in the day. Um, me and Orlando used to hang out all the time. In fact, um, there was two ladies that worked with us both when we were young that lived together. And they both, like, watched us when we were on set as, you know, guardians. Like, my mom would be there. I don't know if his mom was there. My mom would be there. His mom would be there sometime. My mom would be there, and she still had somebody there, like, sometime to go around with me. She'd be going, grabbing stuff, doing things that she got to do, you know, within the facility of the set or whatever she had to do. She'd be there. I have somebody who would be there with us. And they lived together, the two ladies. Uh, they were, like, roommates or whatever. And Orlando would go to their house, and I would go to their house sometime. And we'd be hanging out over there, like, after set, you know? Because we'd be like, oh, Orlando's going to be there? Oh, he's coming over there? All right, I'm going to come over there and kick it. we play video games, whatever. It used to be cool. We used to be kicking it, you know? Uh, that's my boy, you know? Uh, for years, always good. Me, him, Curtis Williams from The Parenthood. We all used to hang out all the time. So, you know, over time... You know, Orlando's always been a little bit of a wild one, okay? Like, me, I'm more the cool, chill one. I'm the one they learn from, cool shit, kicking it. You know what I'm saying? Orlando, a little bit more turned up than me, okay? Way more turned up. Way, way, way more turned up than me. And he's a wild boy, you know? So, over the years, I had experiences with him where I was like, okay, strike one, strike two, strike three. I don't know if I got to go into all of them. This nigga likes to throw bottles. I don't know if anybody knows him for throwing bottles. He throws bottles off of buildings. I got stopped him from getting arrested one time at the W for doing that. Yeah, you know, we're not going to get too deep. But saving his butt numerous times is basically what happened. You kind of get over doing that as you get older. You know what I mean? And... I just like, I kind of got to part ways with kicking it with Orlando Brown. He's not going to invite him to when I'm doing my stuff. You feel me? Like, if I see you, it's cool. But when I'm doing my thing, I'm not going to invite you. So he got butt hurt when he found out I wasn't going to invite him to stuff no more. Okay. He had a little, ah, uh, he was mad. And I was like, my nigga, whatever. You feel me? It was whatever. Because it's a little bro, really. It's like your little brother being mad because you're like, look, you can't. Do this, I can't, until you get your stuff together, I can't hang out with you. Um, it was a post on Shade Room with me and Kyla Pratt. And I'm like, yo, me and Kyla, we was at the W or something, seeing each other, took a picture. And he commented something underneath the picture, because I was like, oh, me and Kyla, da 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 da, doing something for a long time, da 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 da. He's like, yeah, me too. And I'm like, look, bruh. This don't involve you. Don't come on my page with your madness because this is when he's doing all this ruckus. So I'm like, we are not on the same wavelength. So Shea Room, after the picture is up, that comment's in there. They take the comment and repost that up on the page. Oh, it looks like Marcus don't, you know, ain't feeling what Orlando's saying or whatever. I'm like, I'm not, but it's not that big of a deal. Now y'all making it a thing, you feel me? So... It's like a thing because he like, oh, you ain't messing with me. Da, 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 da. I'm like, look, I already told you I'm doing this over here. I'm focused and you over there wild. OK, so no beef, really. No beef. We cool, whatever. It's just now I'm not dealing with you. Orlando goes online on one of his tangents and posts some thing with something and it had to do with my lips and he was trying to diss me. OK, it was funny. 
but it was disrespectful. <laughs> okay, and you know, I'm like, what the fuck? Like, it was out of nowhere though. You feel me? So I'm like, is there a problem? Like, you know what I'm saying? I'm like, bro, I thought I told you, like, just leave my name, you know what I'm saying? And, and he, like, get raw raw with me a little bit. So I'm like, oh, he don't know I smack, I smack fire about him, right? Just, just out of curiosity, Orlando getting raw raw, what is some, just one of the things that may come out of his, is it highly disrespectful or is it slightly? To more? me, if you get, like, a certain amount of, like, loud talking with me and, like, aggressive, at all i'm like bro like that's out like i just don't like people that know me know I'm not, i don't really play all that like just be respectful you feel me that's it i just like respect i'm a man that deals off of respect i'm a real stand-up person and i like respect so anytime somebody trying to get loud with me and you can't calm it down it lets me know that you have no respect for me and I, that means like are we clashing or is there a problem because if you can't have a man-to-man -man conversation, there's a couple ways we can handle it. We can, you know, be nice and cordial. Or as brothers, me and Orlando, it's nothing. We can go in the back, you know. But we over the phone. So he pop in. I'm like, yo, look, whatever. So I'm off the phone with him. I'm like, this, he really sounding like he got an issue. Like, he's not understanding like he's on one and this is when i'm realizing like he's not himself like right now he's on one okay and i'm like man i tell my friend like yo like it's it's really about to be an issue with me in orlando like i could feel it and, and i'm have at this point i have been in the gym so crazy i was really getting nice and big and i'm very you know i'm really with it so I'm like, it's whatever you want to do. And I'm like, you know what? And they're like, man, what you going to do? You going to beat up a crackhead? <laughs> and I'm like, man, yeah. I'm like, that's not even a win situation. But he's talking reckless, right? And I'm like, hey, but he's acting like he want to stay in the distance. I'm telling him, like, we can meet up. And he don't want to meet up. And I'm like, man, I'm just going to bring him to me. So me being the person I am, you know, I like chess, check. You know, I'm like chess, not checkers. So. You know, I go straight for his queen. At this time, he's talking to the girl, Mina. She's, like, pregnant with a little belly. And, you know, I think they were beefing. So I'm like, hey, Mina, what's up? <laughs> right? Now, it's not going where you think. So I'm like, hey, Mina, what's up? Oh, man. I'm like, we need to talk about this Orlando character. And she's like, man, she hop on the phone with me. I'm like, look, let's do lunch tomorrow, and we can just talk about everything, da, 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 da. So she comes, meets with me. It's very messy. I love it though. This is war. I was like, oh, we're at war. Oh, we're at war. Okay, we're going to we got beef. Okay. This is how I'll do it. I'm going to draw you out to me and put you where I want you. So I hang out with Omina. We're at lunch. Cheesecake Factory. <laughs> it's really nice ambiance. You know, we're eating. She's like, I'm tired of him. You know, da da da. Yeah, me too. Yeah, me too. You know, uh, I got my friend with me. It's like real cool. It's not like a date, you know. We just beat him. So, bam, you know, we eat. Da, 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 da. I'm like, hold on. I'm like, oh, let me see. Do you mind if I get a little video just like talking you know, to the belly a little bit? She's like, no, go ahead. So, bam, I put my ear to the belly. And I'm like, in the video, I'm like, stop with the bullshit, Orlando. That's what the baby said. Stop with the bullshit. Stop with the bullshit, Orlando, right? And she's like, ah, laughing, da, 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 cut. So, boom, it goes up on my Instagram. Of course, I get called from Orlando. Man, what the fuck you, you with my baby mom? I said, nigga, look, you got a problem with it. You can come fight me about it, nigga. <laughs> Hang up the phone. Oh, that, that would round them up, you know what I'm saying? You bitch ass nigga. You know, I'm sorry. Excuse my language. But all that was incorporated uh, within the conversations. You know, it, was, it got real disrespectful. You know, so I was like, oh, you, you want to be disrespectful? I'll show you how to get disrespectful. That's terrible. Uh, but at the time, I felt like this is what he needed. I said he really probably just needs his ass whooped. This is what he needs because he's acting crazy. You know what I'm saying? This is my little bro. I don't want to see him destroy himself. There was another story before this which is when it got crazy and this was like i had already had a sit down talk with this man like 
bro, you want to be wilding out and on this and this, this, this. Like, what, you're wilding, you know? You can't mess up no more, you know? And so, bam. So, at this point, it's like, what's happening? You feel me? So, I go to the studio in L.A. Every day. I was at the studio recording, you know, doing my music in this inner city, you know. And I'm like, bro. I wake up because I'm every day going to the gym. I'm ready. What do you want to do? We can go in the backyard and get it cracking real quick and then shake hands and hug it out after. It's cool, you know? And so, bam. He, it's early morning. He, ooh, I said, look, just me being in the city, ooh, we'll be like, yeah, ooh, we can meet. Bet. I tell him, you know, King of Normandy. I'm in the city. You feel me? King of Normandy. Meet me right over here at the gas station. You feel me? Everybody know that Taco Bell, that shit? Meet me at the gas station because my studio was right there off of Browning at one point. We right there in the city. So in the, that's what the, uh, the, the 40s neighborhood, I think. Shout out to, you know, all the people who know the area. Uh, <laughs> but uh, we, uh, you know. Uh, I'm t- you know, I'm at the studio, I'm chilling, I'm like, oh, you know, I pull up on my homie, I'm like, yo, you know, he's supposed to meet me over here, woo, woo, you know, at the gas station, we could just cruise over there, boo, 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 we can get it popping in the alley right there, that's that, you know, but, uh, terrible, right? I was just like, but this is my friend. It's like, I don't want to hurt him, but it's like your brother, you know? You just want to, like, get him in a headlock and be like, you know, you done, you done, you know what I'm saying? Are you done, you know? That's it. And uh, so, man, we at the studio all day. I'm waiting for him. He said he coming to the gas station. We go to the gas station. You know, my people got the on them. They, you know, we outside. And we at the gas station. I'm waiting. He ain't coming. I'm like, man, we're not going to sit here like no ducks set up. And we go back to the spot. Bro never shows up. I'm recording all day. You know, we got cameras around the crib. So I'm like, are you coming? Look, you could just meet me at the studio. This is the address. You don't come here on no rah rah with no, you know what I'm saying, trying to, you know what I'm saying, none of that, because he got his family here. This is the studio, but you can pull up. You feel me? You come on. We ain't finna do nothing to you. I mean, you can get a fair one in the back, and it'd be all good. You know, you my brother. You know what I'm saying? But I'm more than ready. You feel me? So never shows up. Never shows up. Now a car pulls up in the front of the crib. We got cameras. It's dark outside at this point, all right? So we see a flash on the camera, so we like, oh. But we like, oh, it's like, I'm like, nah, somebody like took a picture or something, woo So, you know, we go to the car. My homie, he up on the car now, all right? And it's some people in there, they, you know, stuff, you know. It's, it's a real situation. Now, I'm on it. Where I'm at, I can see everything, and everybody's in trouble on that side. You understand me? So, they're in trouble, let me tell you, okay? Uh, but my homie already up on the car, so they're really in trouble. Because he's, he's really about this, okay? He's really, really about this life. He's up on the car on them, you feel me? They like, oh, oh. And he like, what y'all over here doing? You know what I'm saying? He like, uh, they like, we looking for miles. So he's like, no, nah, you not looking for no miles over here. Woo, woo, woo. Let them know what time it is. Uh, uh, they like, uh, uh, boom. They like, oh, 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 all right. Uh, uh, uh. They out of here, you feel me? So, they give the picture that they take of the house to Orlando. He posted, talking about, oh, he won't come outside. Now, mind you, Orlando's not even in the car that he sent over to the crib. Because where are you at to catch this fade? You should have just right there hopped out. We could have, uh, 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 if we needed to, or if you wanted to talk and f- cry or whatever he was going to need to do. <laughs> you feel me? <laughs> get it out. <laughs> so that's where he get the narrative, I sent niggas over there to kidnap and he was nowhere around. But I was right there and they didn't know I was right there and we was on them. Trust yeah. so, he, so he doesn't see it. They got <laughs> sent niggas over there and they got sent right back. And they got oh. sent back with a picture yeah. is what they got. And then they were mad at him because after he gets the picture, he posted with the address. Now this is my real homie's crib at the same time. And people know who he is and know that crib because people who come record, all that, they're like, 
Bro, you better take that picture down because woo, 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 you tripping. And he was getting checked <laughs> in all types of manners. Okay? And I just got to fall back. But I'm like, look, I just want, we can do this Hollywood way. And I could drop this little this mixtape that I did. Uh, you know, after I realized you wasn't coming, I, I was like, you know, I'm going to just do this diss track. So I was like, we could keep it Hollywood, or you could catch this fair one, and I could beat you up. Because <laughs> that's exactly what was going to happen, I promise you. <laughs> beat you up, and we could hug it up. Oh, uh, uh, we just going, because they didn't want no problems. He, he didn't really want to fight me, and I understand that, because he's my little bro. He's a little homie, and he knows what it is. Yeah, man, shout out to Orlando for uh, keeping it entertaining with the, I want to say the fabricated stuff, but it, it's entertaining when you, I don't think anyone believes it, but it's still entertaining when he tells the story. You know, it's, um, I need him to keep his stuff together. You know what I'm saying? He can't be out here on one with his mind all over the place. Cause he's a very talented guy. And that stage where he was at, at that time, us on the fight and me saying it even now it's not funny it's not cool that we were beefing at that point but he really is like my brother and i would have fought him and we would have been cool win or lose we would have been cool and we would have duped it out like men and kept it cool but shouldn't even have to come to that point and it didn't it went to music and this track and that was cool too and i was like i still can't be cool with him till he gets himself together he went to the program he reached out to me apologized you know, he like, you know, you're my brother. Uh, I'm sorry. Uh, da, da, da. You know, and I'm like, you know, I, but I still, you know, like I believe in life when people do certain things, you got to keep them at a certain distance. I would work with Orlando. I would hope, you know, he can get to that point where we could do work in the future. Because, you know, he could have been in the movie, you know, my film that's coming right now. That's going to be a smash. And I would have seen him as the number two guy with me in that film. You know what I'm saying? Or us being counterparts. And that was our dream when we were younger. And we always used to pull each other in on, on gigs. If you, you know, he was on Moesha uh, playing my best friend, one of my best friends before. Um, he pulled me in on his cartoon, Phil Moore, before. And whenever we had opportunities to put each other on stuff, we would do that at that time. You know what I'm saying? Stand on top like I'm King Kong. Yeah. Paddle niggas like a ping pong. Yeah. Run my block like I'm King Vaughn. 